This leader is provided to permit the projectionist to adjust the projector before the film begins. The volume and tone are identical with the soundtrack which follows. Here is a room full of newborn babies in a hospital nursery. Each baby has its own little bed watched over by a nurse. And right now, each baby spends most of the day and night sleeping. A baby usually cries when hungry. Babies can't find food by themselves. So the nurse takes the baby to the mother. Then the baby, by sucking, gets milk from the mother's breast. Until mother and child go home, the nurse takes care of them. Let's see what a baby only a few hours old can do. He can't stand or sit up by himself, or even roll over. The baby will grasp a finger. The pull against his fingers causes them to close together so tightly that he can be lifted up a little. The baby will grasp a ring placed in his hand. But he doesn't look at it because he doesn't know how to turn his head towards the ring. Nor is he able to bring it to his mouth to chew on it. So you see, a newborn baby is pretty helpless. He couldn't live if someone didn't care for him. These small fingers belong to another kind of baby. A baby monkey. Like a human baby, he will grasp a thumb and can be held up. This baby is being cared for in a special nursery of a zoo because he has a cold. The nurse bundles him up like a human baby to keep him warm. The baby monkey can find his thumb. Do you know anyone else who sucks his thumb? Without his mother, he needs to be fed and looked after. Can you guess what kind of babies these are? They were born just a few minutes ago. This is a mother mouse moving her babies to a new nest. These babies have no hair. Their eyes are still closed and they can barely move by themselves. See how different they are from baby rabbits. Newborn rabbits can move around by themselves. They are born with a full coat of fur. But like baby mice, their eyes have not yet opened. 
Newborn guinea pigs are even more mature than the rabbits. Their eyes are open, they eat lettuce by themselves, as well as nurse from their mother. What other kinds of babies have you seen? Perhaps you've seen ducklings only a few hours old. Baby ducklings can run about and eat and drink by themselves. They can even swim. Other newborn babies can swim even better than a duck. Each of these baby fish, just a day old, is about as big as a grain of sand on the bottom of the stream. Let's find out how life begins for all kinds of babies. Each baby starts life from a single egg which was fertilized by the father. You can see that the duck egg and the fish egg are larger than the rabbit egg or the human egg. Your hand is about the size of a duck egg. An egg from which a human baby grows is no bigger than the point of a sharp pencil. Eggs grow in the mother's body. In the human mother, usually one at a time. In the rabbit mother, half a dozen at a time. In the mother duck, usually one each day for several days. The mother fish produces hundreds and thousands of eggs at the same time. She lays these at the bottom of a stream. Inside each egg, you can see a tiny fish wriggling around, almost ready to be born. Usually, a mother fish leaves her eggs to hatch by themselves. One by one, each fish breaks out of the egg. In a little while, they can swim and look for food. A mother duck lays her eggs in a nest on the ground. In 10 or 12 days, she lays 10 or 12 eggs. She sits on her eggs to keep them warm. The warmth from her body starts growth inside each egg. If we could look inside the egg, we could see the little duckling beginning to form. It gets its food for growth from the yolk in the egg. In a month, the duckling is ready to hatch. To get out, it wriggles and wiggles inside and breaks the eggshell with the tip of its bill. Here we see the actual hatching of a little duckling as it breaks out of its shell. It takes several hours for the duckling to make a door. There. At first, the duckling can hardly walk and its feathers are wet. In about 20 minutes, the feathers become fluffy and the duckling is ready to take his first steps and go in search of food. Most animals stay with their babies only a very short time. The baby rabbits leave the nest in only a few weeks. These little fish never did see their mother after they hatched. Remember, like these babies, the human baby also develops from an egg. After it has been fertilized by the father, the egg grows inside the mother and will become a baby. One month. 
four months, six months. It takes about nine months for the human baby to be born. The mother usually goes to a hospital to have her baby. The mother's muscles push the baby out. The doctor helps bring the baby into the world. In about a week, father brings baby and mother home from the hospital and the family is together again. The whole family joins in taking care of the baby. Human beings stay with their children a long time, many, many years. Mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, grandmothers and grandfathers, aunts, uncles and cousins, all play a part in the baby's life as he grows up. What started out as a helpless newborn baby, unable to raise its head or turn over, grows into a child that runs, jumps, plays, and goes to school. And in school, he watches, thinks, questions, and learns how life begins. Gregory. Is it all you ever a baby? Yes, just as you were once. Did you ever cry? Of course. But when I was a baby, my mother pinned this jade ring here. Why? My mother thought this stone pinned over my heart would help me to sleep quietly. My mother sinks me to sleep. My father always tells me to go to sleep. Are any of you expecting a new baby brother or sister at home? I am going to have a baby brother. I'm going to get some kittens. I have 38 guppies. I sleep in my dolly. Boys and girls, there are other children watching this film. Shall we let them talk with their teacher about babies and how they grow?